Radical Russ here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012 and more interviews coming up all day long and we're joined right now by Steve Collette who is here with the Regulate Marijuana Like Wine initiative, initiative and also running for Congress so welcome Steve, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me here. All right, so uh, let's talk about this because we were just, before we went on, you, you had mentioned how uh, you were running for Congress and this district of yours, first of all, who's representing the district right now? Uh, Henry Waxman is. Okay, so it's Henry Waxman's district and are, are you running uh, with against Henry Waxman in uh, primaries, I would Yeah, there's a, it's a top two primary race. Okay. And uh, I'm a libertarian candidate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so the, with top two, it's uh, irrespective of party. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that, okay. So uh, running for Congress, but you kind of explain how uh, you were mentioning how part of why you wanted to run for Congress had to do with this very issue, you know, regulating marijuana like wine. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I worked on uh, Proposition 19. Oh yes. And if you recall, at the very end, the uh, Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, came out and said that he was going to enforce marijuana laws no matter what. Right. And uh, I think the, these laws are unjust, they're discriminatory, they're wasteful. And uh, at that point I decided I'm going to try to change it at the federal level. And uh, there was a special election last year to replace Jane Harmon. I ran in that election. And uh, I'm a candidate now in the 33rd. Okay, and the, now this 33rd district is, uh, you know, L.A. area, right? Just like the coast? Yeah, it, uh, it, it starts at Palos Verdes, comes up the coast. Redondo, Manhattan, Hermosa Beach, uh, El Segundo, Santa Monica, Marina del Rey, uh, Malibu, all the way to the border of Ventura, and then goes up Calabasas, includes the UCLA area. Okay. So this would be, uh, you know, I would think uh, a natural bastion of support for this type of initiative, this type of idea of changing our outdated and cruel and unjust marijuana laws. Are you finding that true when you talk to the people of the district? Absolutely. The, the district is one of the most physically beautiful in the world, yeah. and, uh, and the people are very freedom-oriented. Uh, and, and that's, that's, that's great. And, and with Regulate Marijuana Like Wine, we just did an interview recently uh, with Stephen Downing, and he was mentioning the fantastic support you were seeing in the latest polling, like 62% support. Uh, tell us about that, the growing support for this initiative, and how you're going to use that moving forward, because I know time is of the essence in this point, at this point. Yeah, Stephen Downing is a hero. He a, was a former deputy chief of police for L.A. who's come out and courageously said these drug laws are a failure and they're unjust and they're wasteful. And uh, so we went out to get, get a poll to see what the reaction was and we got 62% supported us, 35% opposed, 3% unsure. And when we gave some negative facts after, after telling them about our initiative, facts that aren't even true, you know, the, the gateway drug concept, sure. uh, things like that, and gave them facts, it, it withheld at 56%. It's a very solid group of supporters. So Reefer Madness was only able to sway like 6% of the, yeah, right, right. Of the support? No, it's, very, it's a, it's a de very declining portion of the population. We get closer and closer. If we can get it on the ballot, we're going to win this year. All right, folks, the, the website address is regulatemarijuanalikewine.com if you want to get more information. And uh, also, uh, elect Colette for Congress, elect Colette, C O L L E T T dot com for more information on that. And uh, is, so, being here at the uh, Cannabis Cup, is this your first time at an event like this? Uh, first time at the Cannabis Cup. Uh, it happened to be in Los Angeles this year, which is terrific. Yeah, but you've done other uh, hemp expos or you know, cannabis. Yeah, events. I've been to other hemp expos in uh, the uh, DPA conference. Yeah. Uh, also, which was this year in LA, which is terrific. Yeah. Uh, terrific event also. Yeah, is this, is this something that uh, you know you'd like to make as a major part of you know, campaigning in the future as, as we get closer to election day? Because I know that, for example, you mentioned, uh, well, I was doing a previous interview where you mentioned Governor Gary Johnson, and I, I thought it was noteworthy that here he is running for president, and he's showing up at the Hemp Fest and such, and maybe some people would say, perhaps that hurts, perhaps that makes someone not take you seriously as a candidate. Did you ever feel that, or, or does, does coming out here just feel like, you know, what should be done? 
Well, that you know, for uh, for a long time, that's how people thought. Uh, that was the conventional wisdom. But um, as Gary Johnson has said many times, um, he doesn't use conventional wisdom as his uh, yeah. way to make decisions. So you say in your writing as a libertarian, you know, I, I would imagine you followed his career. You followed uh, you followed Ron Paul and. Well, wow, see, things, we're doing it live. Followed Ron Paul and other uh, uh, folks that have run on the Libertarian ticket. Uh, uh, what, what would you think of, I mean, you know, of Dr. Paul, who seems to be doing well in the Republican primaries, would you, would you like to see that him come forward and run as a Libertarian? What do you think about the electoral politics the, at the national level for Libertarians? Well, that would be a fantasy to have, like, a Ron yeah. Paul, Gary Johnson ticket. Yeah. Uh, my office is in Venice. I'm a CPA by trade. Okay. I've opened up my offices in Venice. As, it's a Ron Paul phone bank. Now, Gary Johnson is my number one guy, but we're, we're shocking people because we have signs in the building that say, Ron Paul for president and say Gary Johnson for president. Yeah. So I support both of them. I know Gary Johnson supports Ron Paul. Yeah. And uh, I'm doing what I can to help the Ron Paul people. Uh, but my hero for the uh, uh, libertarian is the libertarian candidate, Gary Johnson. Right on. All right. Well, uh, I'm so glad to have you here. Steve Colette, who's running for Congress, it was 36? 33rd. 33rd. 33rd district here uh, in uh, California. Elect. Colette.com, C-O-L-L-E-T-T, -T, but also, and, and importantly for what we're doing here, regulate marijuana like wine. Regulate marijuana like wine. You can get there at regulatemarijuanalikewine.com. Thanks for joining us, Steve Colette. Appreciate you being here on Normal Show Live. Thank you. All right. We'll be back with more interviews, more coverage here of the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. Stick around.